Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Casual Brews back with another craft beer review. Uh, today we're gonna be. It's gonna be an interesting review. I'm gonna be doing like a bit of a value beer review. Um, we're gonna be reviewing from Balderdash Brewing in. Where is it? Oh, it's in Vancouver. Um, the Sly Fox IPA. Now you may recognize this can at all. Um, they make the Sneaky Weasel Lager um, value beer. Not that I've had before. It's not bad for a, like for a six pack of those. It's like nine, ten bucks at most liquor stores, which in BC is like as cheap as it gets. You know, like your standard six pack of like IPAs or like four pack of tall IPAs. You're looking at like minimum like fifteen, sixteen bucks, right? So they make value beer. They're local. Um, I th I th they make a like an eight percent or like a strong malt kind of one too. That I think I've tried once. I don't remember. But anyway, um, I just so happened to be at the liquor store today, and I was just kind of cruising for something new, and I saw they have an IPA out now. So that's as far as I know, this is their only their third different beer. That I could be totally wrong there. At least it's their third different one they actually have in the liquor store. Although no, sorry, I've seen a honey lager from them as well have not tried it but anyway uh this is the balderdash brewing sly fox ipa this is only 11 bucks i think 11 something at the liquor store um not non-government too so it could be even cheaper at, at like a bcl but um 11 bucks for a six pack of ipas is unheard of but again it's a value beer value brewing um 5.6 percent doesn't really say much obviously about like hops or IBUs or anything like that. It's, um no idea what to expect here. I'll temper my expectations. But I mean, who knows? A value IPA. Let's give it a shot, right? Mix it up. I've done some done some of the cream of the crop so far review wise, you know, the super flux and the uh obviously the Granville IPA I have was really good. Um so, we'll give this a try here. Balderdash Brewing Sly Fox IPA. This is like, you know, I know they're not maybe as well known as like a caribou or something. It must be like caribou making an IPA, right? We know, we all know what to expect with like a caribou, right? It's decent, half decent beer. It's cheap. Not the greatest, but it does the trick. You know, um, this is kind of the same thing. The Sneaky Weasel, I think, is fairly popular. I see people with it all the time out and about, just crushing it at bus stops or in public, whatever, just crushing that $8 six pack of Sneaky Weasel. So, this is their IPA. What? Well, give it a try. Foamed up a little bit. It's been, I've been sitting out a bit. I didn't put it in my fridge right away when I got home, so. Might be a little warm, hence the extra foamage here, but I'll have to settle down and give it a go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, I think it's kind of surprising that it's not a higher percentage. I mean, cause like I said, they make a their lot like their 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 main beer, like the Sneaky Weasel. I think is a five point five. I'm pretty sure. Lager, and then they have their like eight percent. I forget what it's called. It's some other like you know random fucking ass animal name. But um, I'm surprised their IPA wouldn't be higher alcohol by volume, but. Maybe you could stick, take off some of the bitterness. I don't know. Um, yeah, this isn't bad. It's pretty. It's, it's decently smooth. It's got a little bit of West Coast. It's got a bit of like a little tart, a little bitter to it. It's got a little bit of that like slightly kind of chewy kind of aftertaste you get with generally cheaper beers but it's not 
as bad as you would expect for, like, you're not going to find a, a six-pack of IPAs for, you know, I know, like, the Red Racer, and that's pretty cheap, but those are, like, those have a bit of bitter. Those are fairly, quite bitter. The Red Racer IPA is cheap, but yeah, I don't really love it. It's quite, it's quite bitter. Not, like, the nice bitterness that you get, like, from a good IPA, but that's why I'll never review that one. I've had it many times before on a budget and that, but... Yeah, this isn't, like, this, like honestly, like, if I were to compare this to, like, a Red Racer IPA, again, and another very, just in the sense of, like, comparing two very common, very cheap IPAs, I'd take this. I would take this over a Red Racer IPA. I really would. Um. Yeah, it's not bad. Very caramelly. Caramel, you got a bit of malt to it. Like I think that's what we get from cheaper beer. Cheaper beers, you get more of a malt. It's, I think it coincides, you know. For what reason, I don't know, but cheaper beers, like malt liquor, is a very cheap beer. Even like if you go to like a craft brewery, if a craft brewery like a, I don't know, like a, I think where did I have one? Like a Trading Post had like a craft a, a malt liquor, and it. it's like the cheapest one. And I know, oh, can't beer too in Langley. It must be just very cheap to make a malt liquor, malt beer, you know, like a Colt 45s, etc. Um, this has a little bit of malt to it, um, but not overwhelming, like not, doesn't totally overpower the IPA kind of flavor to it. But yeah, it's not bad. It's it's maybe even slightly better than I expected. You know, like I've had, again, I've had the Sneaky Weasel before. <laughs> They're lager. It's decent for a cheap beer, like it's for like ten bucks, six packs, pretty decent. Um, this is bad. This is not bad. One last sip and I'll rate it. Yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with this. You know, it's it's not bad at all. I'm gonna go as far as to give it a seven point oh. Seven point zero for the Sly Fox IPA from Balderdash Brewing, makers of the Sneaky Weasel. You can find like 15 sacks of them for like less than 30 bucks, I think, too. Always seem to be on sale. Um, yeah, brand new. Just saw this today. Swear to God, bought it today. I'm reviewing it today. Um, yeah, Sly Fox IPA. Not bad at all for the price, the value, just in general. It's not bad. Like a 7.0, that's. Not, not a bad, not a bad score. Like, I may even be a little bit low on that. It's because I don't like. It's got a little bit of a bitter, not bitter, but like a little bit of a malty aftertaste, which is kind of weird when you go like, you think an IPA, you get IPA taste, you get malty aftertaste. It's a little bit of a, kind of throws you off a bit. But it's it's honestly not bad. Like for the value, you can't go wrong. It's it's, it's good. It's good. It's good.